the question here a client with a diagnosis of depression the question and answer we are discussing here from mental health or psychiatry mental health nursing for nclix board our patient is diagnosed by depression and patient attempt for suicide and say to the nurse i should have died i have always been failed nothing goes right for me which response by the nurse demonstrate therapeutic communication this question about the depression but the examiner asking the what are the effective way of communication for the coping mechanism right when a patient are depressed the major sign of depression we can see most of the time our patient feeling crying or they said do not eat well they lost the pleasure about life in this patient is really important because this patient already try or attempt for suicide when we dealing with any depressive patient the most important priority is the safety hmm? so because the greatest risk for suicide during their acute attack so always we should keep one to one observation and our target of goal give the treatment and reduce the depressive manifestation so now they said when patient tells something like this which response nurse demonstrate therapeutic communication there are four which one is the most important they said you have everything uh, everything to life for number 2 why do you see you use yourself as a failure we said to asking something by why it is not a good communication so number 3 feeling like this is all part of being depressed you can't say like this anything right so you have been feeling like a failure for a while so number 4 is a good choice because what my patient saying i am going to resentence it right so just re redo it it is very important for psychiatry patient hmm so now answer we choose number 4 and we submit it and what are the rationale they said response to the feelings expressed by the client is an effective therapeutic communication feeling expressed so depression usually the patient who talk who come and talk to you and you take the history you can find out the patient has a positive family history or Uh, usually patient is over 65 years old or they have a medical illness or negative life events or substance abuser so when you take the history it is good to communicate a therapeutic way 
and give them time to verbalize their feelings. Here we do not give any question to express their emotion, but what patient said, you resentence it, means indirectly you give them space to tell their emotion. Hmm? Because the depressive patient sometimes very fatigue or flat facial expression, they do not like to share their emotion. They have a poor grooming or very slow thinking or very slow to speech or they always in in decisiveness is more common or psychomotor change is more common. So they said the correct option is an example to use the restarting. The remaining option block the communication because they minimize the client experience and do not facilitate the exploration of the client expression feelings. So this is the note we should know. So sometimes NCLEX would ask, what are the example of therapeutic communication and what are the non-therapeutic communication? Here you can get some example of therapeutic technique or communication and non-therapeutic or blockage of communication. As a good RN or LPN, you always should avoid this non-therapeutic communication when you dealings with your patient, right? So first of all, let me explain what are the good way of communication or therapeutic communication. First one, we said we always be a good humor. Hmm? The psychiatric patient, they're disorganized. When you ask something, give them time to organize their thinking and then verbalize. So when you ask a question, keep silent. It indicates you are interesting to listen to them. So be silent is a therapeutic communication. As a RN, you have to evaluate your patient. So evaluation is a way of good techniques. Identification the patient problem. So this patient is depressed, have a chance of suicide. So you make sure one-to-one -one observation. So you should identify that patient try to suicide. Identification is important. Also, we should focus on problem to solve it. Then summarization. Hmm? So what are the treatment plan, treatment goal? What are the outcome? Also exploring. So usually the psycho psychiatry patient or mental health nursing we always find out the mental illness and then we make a trustable relationship with our patient because mistrust, delusion, illusion, or misperception is more common among them. So first of all, we try to befriend trustable relationship we help to verbalize their feelings. So exploring is very important here. Also, clarification. So you do not do anything whispering, anything talk behind of them or don't love in front of them. They will think you are doing something bad again. Always you will be transparent to them and also opening. You start an opening conversation. 
you ask an open question that can help your patient to verbalize their feelings. And when you're dealing with your patient, especially psychiatry patient, remember your safety is always come first. Patient safety always come first. Mm -hmm. Because when you're dealing with the patient, we could watch for non-verbal clue of aggression, aggressiveness or violence. It is very important. And always, always we will be position yourself between the patient and an exit. Now go for what are the non-therapeutic communication hmm? or we call blockades. We should avoid it. So here, but not actively listen. You ask a patient, you ask a question to the patient and when patient start to say their exp experience or expression, you are not actively listen. You are watching Facebook or social media, you're checking your mobile. So it means you are not interested to listen. It is a non-therapeutic communication, you should avoid it. Also the rejection, ignoring the client response or reinforce only one part of the message and ignore rest of all. So always we try, we should try to find out the problem and understanding our patient. But if you promoting the patient eagerness, or if you reinforce unhealthy part of the client communication or stereotype response, it is the non-therapeutic way. Or always keep in mind, you do not promote the anger or reinforce the need for the idea or perception. Interpreted, so when patient talking, you interrupt. So suddenly interrupt to the client or misunderstand the client expression, this is the non-therapeutic. Or if you focus the conclusion because of hurry or save the time, so or arrives at inaccurate conclusion, both are non-therapeutic. Or challenge the client. It is not a therapeutic. Challenging the client or gives advice or inaccurate information gives information before the client is ready or able to learn it is the miscommunication, um, non-therapeutic communication. Also focus the client to discuss the issue that are threatened hmm? or ignore uh, them or give them too much advice or you are laughing at uh, humor or promote the superficial communication and avoid to find out a problem and avoid to solve any problem or ask too much irrelevant question, right? Or give too much advice or focus on a encouraging only positive appraisal. All of these are non-therapeutic communication and it is important for NCLEX board. So here the question, the nurse visit a client at the home. The client state, I have not slept at all the last couple of nights. 
quick response by the nurse demonstrate the therapeutic communication. So patient says something, what should be your response? But examiner asking, there are four options. We have to find out which was the therapeutic communication, right? Few minutes ago in the previous question, we already know what the way therapeutic and non-therapeutic communication. Here, option one, I see. As a healthcare provider, you are a very important person to your patient. If you see your patient is not your friend, you have to be professional. So suddenly say, I patient complains something and you say, I see it is not a therapeutic. Or you say, really? So suddenly same thing patient complain you and you say, really? So no, it is not a therapeutic communication. He is not, he or she is not your friend. It is not friendly discussion. You are the person give some solution for the problem. They want to know something positive from you. And you having difficulty of sleeping. And number four, sometimes I have trouble sleeping too. Who cares what you are traveling about your personal life? You are the person for, you keep your responsibilities or accountability in the hospital. So out of four, question, answer, number three is professional in relation to other. It is the best option, right? They said you having the difficulty of sleeping. And our patient also say, I have not slept, right? Last couple of nights. And you say, you are having the difficulty of sleeping. Same sentence, different way you explaining. Means you restatement. And restatement is a therapeutic communication. If you ask me why? Because when you repeat it, maybe your patient says something more and you get the clue and you go for make a summary or patient can verbalize their problem and they feel good. So it is the therapeutic communication restatement. So what is um, the explanation or rational here? They said the correct option used, the therapeutic communication technique of restatement. Although the state, Restatement is a technique that has a prompt him the component to it. The which assists the nurse to obtain a more specific perception of the problem from the client. And remaining options are not therapeutic. Also, that way we can find out the answer. What next? Question here, the client experiencing disturbed thought process and believe that his food is being poisoned. So in psychiatric patient or when we're dealing with the patient who have the psycho, uh, psychotic disorder, they have a false belief, sometimes false belief with perception, right? Or sometimes they have a delirium. Hmm? So it is very important, keep it mind when you deal with them. So my patient thinking, somebody put the poison in their food, which communication technique should the nurse use encouraging the client to eat? So I said, psychiatric patient mistrust, very common. When you deal with your patient, always you 
introduce who you are. Orientation is super important. Then assessment the client and establish the trustable relationship. Then you start to work, right? So here they said, which one? Using an open-ended question and keep silent. So they said, encouraging client to the eat. Answer one, already we found a positive word, keep silent. This is a therapeutic way of communication. You tell your patient to explode their feelings, to verbalize their feelings. And second person, be silent. So open ended question and be silent we used to encouraging the client to discuss their problem which is the therapeutic way hmm? so sharing the personal preference regarding the food definitely it not a therapeutic way to say something you personal offering the opinion about the necessity of adequate nutrition. It is not a nutrition lecture or classes that you tell your patient, but the therapeutic way when they explore more, you should figure out what they need next, right? So what is the rationale? What they say? Open-ended question and keep silent are the th therapeutic way encouraging the client to discuss their problem. Sharing personal food preference is not a client-centered intervention. And also the remaining are not a helpful the patient to eat. So as I told you, orientation, working phase, and termination, these are the three phases of the nurse and client relationship. When we dealing with the patient in psychiatric nursing has a three phases of nurse client relationship. Three phases. First one is called orientation, right? Orientation means assessment of the client and established a trustable relationship during orientation. Working phase, in that phase, we planning an intervention with the patient and established our goal and problem solving. In working phase, we explore the thought and feelings and also formulate the nursing diagnosis. And last phase we call termination. An NFLEX board sometimes asks a question, when termination or discharge begins? So termination all begins at during or at the time of admission. In the termination phase, we evaluate the goal or allow the client to discuss their feelings about the termination and loss. And during this phase, maintain the limit of final termination. What next question? The question here, the nurse should plan which goal of the termination stage of a group development? Select all type. There are six options. You have to choose the best one. But most of the students have a chance to wrong the answer because they do not read this question properly or they will not find out the keyword. When you get the question like this, you must find out what examiner asking 
and what are the different part of this question the nurse should plan which goal of the terminal states so it is very clear the examiner asking select all regarding the termination states right so if you do not know what at the focus or termination phase or working phase or orientation phase, it would be difficult for you to answer. Let me explain first. So to answer this question, we have to know details about the three phases of nurse and client relationship. The first one is orientation. During orientation, we assessment the client and also we established the trust with the patient. During the working phase, we establish the goal or planning and intervention about the patient care. And also our focus should be problem solving or explore the thoughts and feelings also formulate the nursing diagnosis what else during the termination or discharge phase our major target to evaluate the goal allow the client to discuss the feelings about the termination and loss and also maintain the limit of final termination. So there are six options. Number one say the group evaluates the experience. I told termination or discharge phase, we evaluate the goal and also allow the client to discuss their feelings about termination and losses means group evaluate their experience this is the choice the real goal of group is accomplished so it is a working phase in working phase we planning and intervention establish the goal right and also problem solving explore the thoughts and feelings formulate the nursing diagnosis. The group interaction, also the part of working phase here, group member become acquainted with one another. It is the working phase. Some st structuring of group norms, roles take place, but the group explored the members feelings about the group and impending separation. So group exploring the members and feelings of group and impending the termination or loss. This is also part of the termination. So when you read this question, you have to find out the examiner asking about what phases orientation working or termination so if it is our answer so what are their rationale what they said about it so the states of group development include initial initial states or orientation and working states and also the termination stage during the initial stage here initial stage the group member become acquainted with one another and some structure of the group norms, roles, and responsibilities take place. During the initial stage or group 
interaction involve sufficient conversation. During the working stage, the real work of the group is accompanied. During the termination stage, the group evaluate, experience, and explore the member feelings about the group and also impending separation. Question here, the client diagnosed with terminal cancer and say the nurse, I'm going to die. And I wish my family would stop to hoping for a cure. I get so angry when they carry on like this. After all, I am one who is going to die. Which response by the nurse is therapeutic. Hmm? So there are four options. Which one is we prefer it is therapeutic way of communication. Have you, um, have you sh share your feelings with your family? I think we should talk more about the anger with your family. So patient can verbalize their own feelings, but you can't encourage them to talk about their family. It is not a ethical or principle. We are feeling angry that your family will continue to continue to hope for your cure. And here you are probably are very depressed. So also we do not directly say you are depressed. So number three, it is same what patient saying, we restatement. Your, your feelings angry that your family continue hope. And patients say, I get some angry when they carry like this, means they have a hoping, right? So when you read statement, it indicates the therapeutic way of communication. In the rational, they said restatement is the way of therapeutic communication. Question here on review the client record, the nurse noted that admission was voluntary. So the keyword patient is voluntarily admitted. Based on this information, the nurse planned care anticipation, which client behavior. So in psychiatry, ward or department, sometimes because patients are not aware with reality, because this is a uh, psychosis, right? So they do not know the judgment. So sometimes patients are not aware about their behavior or their problem. So they have, they not want to get admitted for their problem because they have a false belief, they have a misperception, and also some patients are restlessness, lethargy, or sensory perception without any stimuli. So, and as I told you, they do not have any relation with reality. They do not aware about their problem. So they do not want to get hospitalized for the treatment. In that scenario, we call in, and that of condition when patients are not allowed to get hospitalized, but they are danger to others, or they have a chance to harm for themselves. They need treatment and they forcefully admitted to the hospital, we call involuntary. But in this question, patient want to take admission voluntarily. So what is okay with them? Fearness, fearfulness regarding the treatment. So fearfulness is a character of involuntary admission. Anger or aggressiveness is the character of involuntary admission, right? Understanding of pathology and symptom of the diagnosis. It is a little bit 
support, but it is not necessary if patient want to get admitted voluntarily, they have to have capable to understand all of the pathology of the disease or diagnosis, not necessary. But voluntary patient want or they looking for the help, they want to be cured. A willingness to participate in the planning of care and treatment plan. It is the answer support this question. What is more explanation? In general, the client looking for voluntary admission, if the client looking for voluntary admission, the most likely expectation is that the client will participate in the treatment program since he or she is actively looking for help. So this is the answer we chose.